still open? Barely. You're up late. Big family dinner in West Van. One of my cousins is getting married. Were your parents there? We said hello. Then they sat with my aunt at the other end of the table. Everyone else pretended they didn't notice. Hang in there. That's OK. It just made me realize I've got nothing to discuss with them. I made my decisions, and I'm living my life. Good for you. Anyway, I brought my check for my damage deposit, um, if the offer still stands. Of course. When can you bring your stuff over? Um, uh, beginning of the month. Isn't that the way it usually works? Please. This isn't going to work if you treat me like your landlord. <laughs> How about I move in tomorrow? I don't have much. No, come over tonight. Sounds good. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry about your parents. But this is going to be great. Wait and see. <laughs> Ouch. Let's just say the first thing I'm bringing over is my futon. <laughs> Do we flip on who shares the bedroom? No, I'm standing in my room. I'm out of town a lot. Yeah, but when we are here, you snore. I snore? She wakes herself up, and then she thinks it's me. <laughs> Maggie has a rich fantasy life. I think yeah. I'll sleep on the patio. You might be better off sharing with me. Yeah, but you've been having company lately. Uh, just strictly platonic. You're yeah, right. So far. Rule number one. For bringing a guy over, you give us advance notice. I'll keep that in mind. There's a bunch of stuff I want to get from home. Maybe we could rent a truck on Saturday. Sure, just tell me when and I'll be there. Except that you probably shouldn't be lifting things, Shh, right? I'm pregnant. Not helpless. Anyway, I was going to supervise <laughs> while you and Maggie did all the lifting. <laughs> oh my god, who did this? I'm not Gail, right? This is your locker? Somebody's idea of a sick joke. Well, we have to deal with this. You can't just leave it like that. Well, I told the janitor last night. Still can't believe he hasn't done anything. You want to tell Robinson? Apparently, it's a custodial issue. The janitor has to fix a fire to her, so the locker isn't going to be repainted till this afternoon. Oh, and in the meantime, we have to stare at an obscenity? Oh, lighten up. It's completely offensive. Look, I'm not saying I like it, but it's paint on a locker. Sometimes this stuff gets blown out of proportion. So you don't think it matters? Well, sure I do, but mainly for the poor kid who uses the locker. For all we know, he isn't even gay. But it would be all right if he was? Well, no, but it's a drag to be accused of things that aren't true. You know what? Why don't we just drop this? Accused? Like it's a crime? No, of course not. And if he was gay, do you think he'd feel comfortable coming out in this environment? Look, why is this such a problem? Because I'm gay, all right? Yeah, right. <laughs> Seriously? I never knew. No, you do. Annika, are you in there? What do you want? Are you sitting down? Yes, obviously. You will not believe what I just heard. Shannon is gay. She told me herself, right in the hall. And what part of this is supposed to be news? What do you mean? You knew? Please, this is like so last millennium. Shannon, I had no idea. Don't feel bad, she even fooled me. But she's got long hair. She wears lipstick. On the other hand, she did always have a certain coldness towards me. Just like the rest of the female population. <laughs> I gotta hand it to you. You got guts. Been a long time coming, as you know. Yeah. And I can probably guess what it's like. I have some experience being different. Of course, I'm one minority, and you're two of them. They show off. That'd be me. Hey! Tell me you have time for lunch. Definitely. I've got your key ready. It's in my purse. I think I might move in right after we eat. There's no break from school. 
But talking about the rumors, I can only imagine. It's unbelievable, isn't it? One kid paints a locker and then suddenly everybody's gay. Don't worry, I've been sending people straight. You don't have to do that. I don't let people tell lies about my friends. He was telling the truth. talking about it this morning about having guys over actually you were talking about that that fight you had with your parents i told you it was about lifestyle choices you just assumed it was a straight lifestyle so you lied to me no i was gonna tell you eventually i just hadn't found the right moment i should do some cleaning up can i get the key uh yeah i can remember what i did with it Shannon mentioned that you were a little surprised. Surprised? Yeah. That's one of the words. What? You knew about this? Yeah. Um, I thought that Shannon should be the one to say. We're supposed to be roommates. I didn't think it mattered. Honesty is important to me. I mean, how am I supposed to be living with somebody I can't even trust? So what? I'm gonna go steal the silverware? Look, I told you this is pointless. Maggie, come on. Since you're obviously so much more comfortable with this, maybe Shannon should share your room. I'm not sharing anyone's room. If I wanted to live in a hostile environment, I'd still be at my parents. You can give the damage deposit back in Laurel. So I guess we start looking for a new roommate. Actually, you start looking for two roommates. What? I thought honesty was important to you. Exactly. So be honest. You wanted Shannon to live with us. Until you found out she was gay. Look, about this morning. Leave it. Seriously, if I offended you, I'm sorry. Okay. I didn't mean to sound like such an idiot. <laughs> Just takes some getting used to, you know? I know. It took me a while to get used to it, too. See ya. Oh, great. Hey there. Go ahead. Say it. Say what? Whatever's on your mind. Hey, you like girls, I like girls. We should get together sometime. We'd have lots to talk about. So now I'm looking at sharing a place in Surrey or getting a bachelor apartment. I thought Shannon was moving in with you guys. Shannon's gay. What? What? Shannon Ng? My Shannon? Your Shannon? Well, she's been living with us for like the past two months. Never knew. Neither did I. The details she forgot to mention when she moved in. But the second I expressed some reservations, she and Laurel dump all over me. Man, I never saw that coming. I'm not an evil person, all right? I just want to be able to choose who I live with. Wait, you told her she couldn't move in? I told her she had no right to hide that sort of information. Well, well what are you afraid of, that it's contagious? Don't be ridiculous. Hey, I'm not the one who's... This morning I was in my underwear, okay? Right in front of her. So, wear a bathrobe. <laughs> Besides, I don't think it's anything she hasn't seen before. It's not the point. Well, that's what I'm trying to figure out. What is the point? Just forget it. Look, she's a person. She's cool. Get past it. told you you can give to Laurel. The thing is, I don't, I don't have it anymore. The funds already went through my account to cover some checks, but I can get it to you by the end of the month. Fine, whatever. Look, I didn't mean anything personal. I was just trying to be honest. Please. Well, I don't happen to believe it's okay to lie, even if you do. Do you have any idea how hard it was for me to come out? 
It's taken me years to admit it to myself, and then ages before I even told my best friend. I thought we were friends. Apparently not. Look, if you still want to move in... You gotta be kidding. It's just... Oh, I've never known anybody who was gay. And it seems so weird. It's not weird. It's just different from you. But I've thought about it, and maybe we can make it work, you know? Make some compromises about the things that bother us. So I could be slightly gay. Just the stuff that might be a problem. It's what roommates do. Laurel snores, I sleep with earplugs. She hates hair on the bathroom sink, I do my hair in the bedroom. Those are trivial. Stay for a month. See if it works, and if it doesn't, we'll just call it rent and be square. Is that what this is about? You're so desperate for a roommate that you'll even take the deviant? You know what, forget it. You've already made up your mind about who I am. Nothing's gonna change that. Don't ask me to move in just so you can feel like you're a good person. I'm not. I wanted to be friends again. All right. A month. We'll see how it goes. Found the key.